Okay, I thought I'd do just a quick little video on uh, how to split wood for beginners. It's just, I figure some people just might not know. I know that most of us, you know, it's kind of common sense and there's not a lot to it. And there's not, but, you know, you never know when someone might not know something. So, it doesn't hurt. I'll just make a quick little video. Now this that I'm splitting is white oak. And it was cut probably, I'd say, two months ago. I just want to show this splitting all real quick. Now this split and maul I have used since I was 12 years old. It's in kind of rough shape obviously. It has no edge on it whatsoever. Totally blunt. I mean you could you can hit that thing, you can you know, it's not not got an edge whatsoever. So I just wanted to show that to let people know just about any triangular piece of metal can split wood. You know, it doesn't have to be a so-called mall. It can be, man, it can be anything. Just, just anything heavy and pointy and that'll pretty much do it. But I'm just going to go ahead and split one of these real quick. It does help that it's been, you know, like in the single digits around here. With splitting wood, the colder it is outside for the longer period of time, the better. Okay, I'll bring you in a little closer and show you what's going on. Okay, with splitting wood, you know, most people will tell you, follow the cracks, follow the grain. Which is true, that does make it easier, you know. If you were to split along this line, it would be easier than just going straight through. And I think there's even a little knot over on this side. No, it's right here. But, you know, any one of these lines is fine. You can pretty much hit this anywhere. And it does depend on what type of wood it is. But a lot of people say, you know, follow the grains, which is true for the most part. That's a good thing to do. But you don't have to. If you hit the same spot on both sides over and over again it's got no choice but to split anywhere anywhere it'll split anywhere you know you just hit that side hit this side hit the middle you know and then if it still doesn't go just keep doing that and it'll eventually go but I mean as you can see there's pretty much lines everywhere. You can just pick one and go with it. All right. Now see, that has followed that crack. Now the easiest way to do it is to just hit it right here again. This side will just crack off. But you can hit it right here. Now, see that I was about a half inch off, but it still will split, it doesn't matter. And then once you get it halved, it's just, you know, you don't even have to put that much effort into it.
Now I'll show you this other piece. It has a huge knot in it. Now what you want to do with a big knot is you don't try to split straight through the knot. That will not happen. I mean, maybe if you kept working at it, but it'll split around the, the knot. So what I like to do is the knot is right here, okay? It's about this wide. So what I'll do is I'll come to the edge of the knot and take it straight across. That way the knot is up here in the corner and then when you quarter it, that knot is just in one quarter. Ah! But as you can see, that knot split off right there in the quarter. So you can just take it and split it down the middle then and that knot will just be on one side. Okay, now as I was saying, once you get it halved, then your knot is going to be to one side. And then you can just split it down the middle and that knot will just be on one quarter. And that takes care of that knot. That's not too bad. <laughs> See, this one's kind of got a knot right in the right in the middle there. But again, it doesn't matter. You just hit it hard enough and it'll do what you want it to do. Now, it really helps with it being as cold as it is. They just kind of bust apart because they're frozen. Then when you get to smaller pieces, mostly I don't split a piece of wood unless it's bigger than eight inches. A six inch piece, like, probably like this right here, will fit in most stoves. But people tend to like split wood. It, it makes the wood burn up a lot faster. But with small stuff like that, you can usually just kind of one hit wonder it. Now like I said, this is not seasoned wood or anything. This was just cut like, you know, two months ago and it's been, you know, it's the middle of January. So it's not been in, you know, high heat or anything like that. And then you can always take these down smaller if you want, you know. It, all it'll do is just burn up your wood faster. Well, I guess that'll about do it. Till next time.